I love lettering. So today we'll do some brush lettering. Today we will use ink, any kind of ink, a medium sized brush and a flat brush. First, test your brushes so you can understand what marks you can make with them. The flat brush can make nice, thick, straight marks, but you can also use its side for a thinner line and use both the flat side and the thin side in a curly move. With the medium brush, you'll get more of an organic shaped line and you don't know exactly what to expect. You just go with the flow. I'm using a flat brush to make some big juicy letters, holding the brush straight up and turning the brush with each curve so the line is consistent in size. Now I'll use a more playful effect and use the flexibility of the brush, writing the letters in one flowing movement. Now let's take the medium brush. For a consistent looking lettering there is a simple rule that you can follow. Put a little bit of pressure on the down strokes and release on the up strokes. Relax your hand, that really really helps. I'm using a very light touch with the tip of the medium brush to write small letters. Hand lettering can be really great to write yourself reminders like these for making custom greeting cards or to spice up your sketchbook pages when you're using it as a mixed media journal for example because these kind of bold letters can look fantastic on top of collage or paint and you can use it for writing a story or simply just adding the day or the date. Have fun and please share what you make with this tip on social media using the hashtag DTT in action.